then die. What do we do? Argue with you? What's up, everyone? All right, so it's May now. So as usual, that means Sonic News is going to start picking up now because Sonic Central should be coming out soon. I think in the past two years, we've gotten a Sonic Central in May. I forgot when the last one was last year. I think that was either in May or June. I, I'm, I'm forgetting because that one was so forgettable. It was like 10 minutes long. No, no, no. It was like five minutes. But the first Sonic Central we had back in 2021, that one was special. That one came out in May. So I'm thinking we're going to get another one in May too because there's a lot that Sega has to discuss that we're getting. I mean, we're getting Origins Plus next month. Also, Sonic Frontiers DLC Update 2. So we got to have a Sonic Central before then. So I got a lot of interesting things to talk about. But before I do, be sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's see if we can get to 100,000 subs before Sonic's birthday. All right, so before I get to the uh, nitty gritty, I want to talk about some uh, news that came out last week. First being Hypersonic. Now, as you all know, Hypersonic almost made it in Sonic Frontiers. And this should come as no surprise to anyone because I remember making lots of videos in the past about Hypersonic or Cybersonic or some new super form of Sonic showing up in Sonic Frontiers because we all knew that Super Sonic was going to be a recurring feature in the game. And you know how things go in Shonen. When you overuse a super form, that means it's going to be surpassed with a new form or a new technique or something like that. Now, Ian Flynn talked about it in his Bumblecast podcast, and uh, he said that Sega shot it down, his idea to use Hypersonic, because, you know, Sega has not been wanting to use Power Creep. And I totally understand. I understand not wanting to give Sonic multiple forms, you know? I, for one, didn't even like the multiple forms Sonic was getting in the 2000s, especially in those storybook series. It was getting too much. Dark Spine Sonic, Excalibur Sonic, even in Sonic X Dark Sonic, which we only saw one time. Like, how do these super forms differ from Super Sonic? And which one is more powerful? You know, it was getting too much. That being said, there is no reason not to use Hyper Sonic because literally that could have worked in Frontiers. Frontiers was literally leading up to that. Since the whole theme of Frontiers was the Chaos Emeralds and then the Master Emerald, Make that work with Hypersonic, since Hypersonic was only achieved in Sonic 3 Knuckles with the Super Emeralds. So they could have easily fit that in the story, but you know, the story was rushed in Frontiers. So it was a good story, but it had so much potential to be even better. They could have easily made Hypersonic work, and like, Hyper isn't a power creep. I don't care what these new Sonic fans say. Hypersonic is the oldest form besides Supersonic, you know? We're talking about 1994 here. Like, Supersonic is only technically two years older than Hypersonic. I, I don't even want to hear it. It already exists. Just make it rare, damn it. Just make it rare. So, like, it, it should be like the Ultra Instinct of Sonic. Very hard to achieve. It's not common for Sonic to use only during dire situations. And throughout the game, Sage kept on saying not even Supersonic can beat, you know, the final big bad boss, which is the end. Like, they kept on saying that Supersonic might not be enough to defeat the big villain. Only in the end, it was a bland Ikaruga game where, you know, Supersonic joined forces with Sage and they were just shooting pellets at the end. Like, it was very underwhelming, the final boss. They could have easily made it hypersonic. I'm not saying I want to see hypersonic in every game, but this was a perfect game to reintroduce hypersonic. And they didn't do it. So yeah, I don't have much to say about this because I don't understand Sega. It's like they always ignore their past. The only reason why Sonic Frontiers was dark again and tapping back to his roots is because what they've been doing for the past 10 years has not worked. The meta era. So they need to know that hypersonic, it's okay to use hypersonic. It's not going to give people seizures anymore. So that's what I feel about it. It would have made complete sense. I didn't need to see a new form. I didn't need to see Cyber Sonic or something like that. Just use Hypersonic and make it work, but whatever. All right, and then the next old news, Mania 2. Now, also, it shouldn't come as any surprise that Sega was planning on making a Sonic Mania 2, but things didn't work out with Christian Whitehead's original team. So, yeah, and then they left and formed Evening Star. Again, not surprised. Sega has never treated their employees well. 
you know they always work magic with their employees one time and then something happens and then they all split so this is a recurring theme hopefully they have learned their lesson and we're going to get into that later sega cannot afford to screw up anymore when it comes to sonic so sonic the hedgehog 5 that new 2d modern sonic game that's coming out is not made by any one of christian whitehead's team is made by sega proper or sonic team proper so Let's see how that game goes. Uh, hopefully it does well. It's going to be using the same engine that Christian Whitehead's team did, the retro engine. So we'll see. All right, now on to the big news. Now, this is something I've been talking about in the past. A couple of Sonic fans didn't want to believe me. But uh, I remember I said, especially after Forces, that Sonic is not Sega's main IP anymore. It's not their focus, their mascot anymore. Well, lo and behold, here it is. Now, let me play this video right here. Some key IPs as franchise and deliver new title regularly. Sonic franchise has been growing again recently, and the IP has become back as the face of Sega. I will touch on Sega, I mean Sonic business more later. So yeah, notice what he says. He's back to being the face of Sega, implying that he never always was a couple years ago. This is exactly what I said, Premi said this, and you guys were doubting us saying, nah, -uh, Sonic will always be Sega's mascot. If that's the case, why was Forces such a low-budget Sonic game? Why was Sega making a bunch of low-budget Sonic games for a while? Ever since after Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, which completely bombed in sales and reviews, ever since after Sonic Boom, Sonic games were low-budget. From then on until recently with Sonic Frontiers, you know? Even Frontiers, you can argue that it's low budget, but they really squeezed every single penny they could to make it a good game. But yeah, everything after, boom, Sonic Forces, Team Sonic Racing, all of that, all low budget. So that makes a lot of sense, especially the price was very low, like $40 at the time. So now we know. Sega was giving priority to games like Persona, Yakuza, and Fantasy Star. I remember hearing about those franchises a lot after Sonic Forces because Sega realized that Sonic is not where he should be right now you know he's not selling well the games are mid as hell so let's focus on these other games that are you know doing well these game franchises especially persona everybody loved persona even casuals so yeah but things have changed just like what this guy says thanks to the sonic movie you don't know how good the sonic movie one and two have been to sega you know the sales and everything like sure mario movie hit over a billion that shouldn't be a surprise to anyone but the sonic movies really made a difference for sega especially that before the mario movie the sonic movies were breaking records too sonic movie 2 i think was the highest box office for a video game domestically so that's good to hear i'm glad that they're giving more priority to sonic and i'm expecting the next games to be high quality even this 2d modern sonic game and also it seems like sega is working on an online peer-to-peer -peer sonic game so yeah if you look at their website they are searching for people to uh hire you know job descriptions and recruitment requirements to help them make a game it's going to be like a spin-off online multiplayer sonic game or something like that now i'm thinking it's going to be an olympics game like mario and sonic at the paris olympics but usually those games come out the year before the olympics which will be next year and uh, it's May right now. It's kind of too late to be making that game. I'm not sure. I'm thinking it will be an Olympic game. And with Sega buying Rovio now, you know, Rovio is the company that owns Angry Birds. Expect to see an Angry Birds in a crossover game with Sonic. They could easily put Angry Birds in a Mario and Sonic Olympics game if Nintendo allows that. Or there could just be another online game with Sonic and Angry Birds. It's bound to happen. You know, Sega spent a lot of money, billions, on Rovio, and they're going to utilize that well. Now, me personally, I think Angry Birds ship has sailed is not as big and popular as it used to be. But hey, this is Sega. They must know what they're doing. Now, one person said that he thinks it's this project. I remember reading this online multiplayer game years ago. Like, this was during, you know, all the pre-hype for Frontiers before we even knew it was Frontiers, before we even called it Sonic Rangers. I think this was like 2020 or early 2021. Now, is this project, now I don't know if this was on 4chan or Reddit, but it says online multiplayer. 
a world unexplored so yeah i mean this is cut off i'll try to find a better version of this but yeah this was an online multiplayer game that was supposedly leaked a couple years ago and i just dismissed it as a fake rumor or just a rumor but maybe this could be the online sonic game that they're planning on making who knows you know and i remember this was the time when they said that oh sonic is going to have you know fur textures like he does in sonic movies so this was definitely after 2020 but what do you guys think about all this do you think we are going to get a new online multiplayer game this year. Do you think it's going to fit that description that I read just now? Or do you think it's just going to be like an online Olympic game? Like Sega's finally going to make them online. I mean, I don't know if they were online much in the past because I never really played much of the Olympic games. Also, what do you think about Sonic not being a mascot for Sega for a while, a couple years back? Also, stay tuned for tomorrow. I got something special to post. It's going to be an animated short. I know some of you are going to guess it. Also, this is going to be very different, weird, and kind of outside the box. So it's going to be short, just one minute long. It's just, you know, I want to try something new and, you know, experiment with things, you know, besides Sonic Rebound. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But that's all I got for now, guys. So take care. And until next time, I'm out.